School is brought to you by BASF and Pride Seeds. I'm Lindsay Smith. I'm joined today uh, on another beautiful day, Dieter. Yes, it, yes. it certainly is beautiful. When we last filmed, it was... Uh, a cold September day, so of course we had to choose a nice warm spring day to uh, ease us into the Manitoba growing season. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a balmy plus three out right now, I believe. So hey, it's not snowing, so we'll take. Anyway, Dieter Schwartz with Pride Seeds. We are uh, just outside of Altona. We are talking corn. We're yes. talking uh, timing of beginning planting, and and how soil temperature plays a role. So what's uh, how does corn uh, or how does soil temperature impact corn germination and growth? Well this time of year normally we all experience a little bit of spring fever and uh, even in this area we've had some guys out in the field uh, scratching around a little bit and a lot of people want to get their seed in as early as possible. A lot of research has been done over the years that say the earlier the better. Uh, the caveat on that of course is you shouldn't plant until your soil is fit. Now fit is an all-encompassing word that can be stretched any different direction. Uh, with corn we generally talk about you want to wait till the soil warms up to 50 degrees. Uh, as a matter of fact, corn will start uh, germinating at 46 degrees, um, but no upward growth actually happens in your corn seedling until the soil temperature hits 60 degrees Fahrenheit. And Lindsay has reminded me that that I am dating myself uh, with the Fahrenheit uh, comments. So 46 degrees, for those of you uh, following along at home, is actually 8 degrees Celsius. And uh, 60 degrees is 15 degrees Celsius. So we want to make sure we're inclusive to everyone watching at home in terms of temperatures. Right. So, and now when we say the soil is fit, soil temperature is part of that. But obviously so is structure, moisture, all those sorts of things. So. Um, so, what's important then, so for me, I'm thinking about this, if the soil's a little cool, I know when we talk about soybeans, they really don't like going into cold soil, will corn sit there okay until the soil warms up to where we're in the ideal zone, or what's the risk? Well, there's always a risk of corn sitting there, of course. Um, so a corn seed will start growing once it takes up about 30% of its weight in moisture. So when we're talking soil temperature, we're actually talking soil water temperature. So we want that seedling to take its first drink of water and we want that water to be warm. Um, and as I said, um, with corn, that happens, we want that to happen at about 50 Fahrenheit or 10 degrees Celsius. Um, and with soybeans, we take that even a bit further to 60 Fahrenheit or 50, uh, sorry, 15 Celsius. And uh, so it's important to wait. Uh, now that's sometimes tough when we have a lot of acres ahead of us, but uh, it will pay off. Now, getting back to your question, seed does not like to sit in wet soil for any length of time. Um, there's many factors that come into play, but if we look at the long-term forecast and there's a lot of rain in the forecast, we're often tempted to go ahead and put the seed in the ground while the soil is fit, as I said before, while the soil structure is such that we can go in without causing a lot of damage to the soil structure or creating a lot, a lot of lumps. So there's a lot of temptation to go in early before a weather event happens. However, if that weather event is coupled with a cooling off in temperature, we're going to see a lot of um, issues with germination and as I said, those plants do not want to poke their head above ground when it's not above 10-15 degrees. So we want to be really careful. We watch the long-term forecast and not just what's happening right today. So it might be fit to go today, but if we have 10 day stretch of cold weather, we may want to hold off. I think it is going to pay off in the long run to wait. Um, I just talked to uh, someone yesterday and uh, even though everybody's raring to go right now, last year we didn't get in the field until May 9th or 10th. So we still have a couple of weeks before that date hits and uh, really in Manitoba if we're in the ground by May long weekend we're still in great shape. So take your time, be patient and um, there's plenty of time to get that seed in. Now having said that, I am very curious as my fingers are getting cold, I'm very curious as to what the soil temperature is so let's go check it out.
Okay, so the first question that comes up when we're measuring soil is where do you carry your soil probe? And us uh, soil agronomy geeks actually like to carry it right here in this geeky pocket. And uh, yeah, that's how we like to carry it. Why is that, Peter? You know, I'm not sure. Uh, it just seemed like a good idea this morning. <laughs> well, it keeps it nice and warm. Yes. You zero it out, I assume. Yes, so I'm uh, letting it adjust here and then I'm going to place it on the ground. Now the key thing is of course to let it adjust and one of the questions that came up this morning was um, how deep should you place the soil probe? Now essentially you're trying to determine what the temperature is um, in the planting zone. So right now I'm guessing I, I'm about three to four inches or eight to ten centimeters um, we're not going to plant that deep, but it essentially gives me a good idea what the root zone temperature is like. And uh, I was overly optimistic. Uh, Lindsay and I spoke earlier, and I thought, well, maybe we're getting close to 40 degrees. What is it, Dieter? We're not. <laughs> I win. We're at, uh, we're at 34.6 Fahrenheit. Um, so we have a long ways to go to get to our magic number of 50 Fahrenheit and for those of you following along at home 34.6 is just above freezing so around 2 degrees uh, 1 to 2 degrees so we have a long ways to go to 50 um, this is in uh, worked uh, corn stubble of course we're not going to put corn on corn here but this may be a uh, soybean ground uh, this uh, this season I'm not entirely sure so we should wait even longer until the soil is well above 50. Now when I say 50, once again, uh, we may want to take the temperature a couple times throughout the day to get a really good feeling as to what that soil temperature is going to be like. And we want that temperature to be consistent, as I said, for a couple of weeks out. So if we have a cold spell coming up, you know, let's wait. So... Yeah, absolutely. We are, this is almost noon, but it's a cold day, it's gray, it's rainy, uh, not a lot of warming up happening today. So... We'll just have to wait longer. Yes, Peter? yes. One more thing? Yeah, I do want to try one more thing. I have, I have brought a rod with me because, of course, we're still wondering how much frost is in the ground. So uh, let me grab that and be right back. Okay. All right, Dieter. So uh, sad news on the soil temp front. Uh, <laughs> pretty down cold still. Now, so now let's look at where that frost is. Well, this is uh, maybe not the most scientific method, but it's uh, one way that I'm going to try to see if uh, we can determine if there is some sort of resistance as I try to push this rod in to see if we can figure out if there's still some frost in the ground. Uh, anecdotally, from our local CTV meteorologist in Winnipeg, um, he was trying to drive a stake in the ground in the city and encountered frost just a few inches down. I'm not having a lot of luck pushing this down <coughs> very far. Now that could be compaction in this area. Oh, here we go. But I'm getting about uh, 30 centimeters down and I'm encountering a lot of resistance. And uh, yep. So. There was all kinds of talk this spring about uh, there being frost eight feet down. Of course, in Winnipeg, we encountered a lot of uh, frozen pipes. Um, it's going to take a while for that frost to uh, come out of the ground. And uh, once again, as we're trying to um, plant our seed into warm ground, it's important to consider the frost that's there as well. That's going to impact the root zone temperature. So once again, wait. Be patient um, and wait for that temperature to come up and the warmer it is the happier plants you're going to have and the higher yield you're going to have so thank you and uh, hopefully the next time we talk it'll be on a warmer day yes it's gonna, I'm not going to talk to you again until it's plus 25 perfect yes all right thanks so much Dieter thank you